AWS Storage Gateway is a hybrid storage service that enables your on-premises applications to seamlessly use AWS Storage Services. Your applications connect to the service through a gateway appliance using standard protocols such as NFS and iSCSI to store files, block volume data, and virtual tape backups. On the back end, the gateway connects to AWS Storage Services such as Amazon S3, Glacier, and EBS and integrates with AWS management services such as CloudWatch, IAM, and CloudTrail. AWS Storage Gateway File Mode creates a bridge between NFS clients and S3 objects in AWS. The gateway itself is deployed close to your NFS clients for low latent access to content cached within the gateway. With the file gateway, there is a one-to-one -one mapping between files and objects, making data equally accessible to both NFS-based applications and AWS services that leverage the S3 API. Leveraging Amazon S3 as the storage backend means virtually limitless capacity, as well as access to S3 native data management capabilities such as cross-region replication, versioning, and lifecycle management. In the following demo, we're going to take a look at how you can access content stored in a single S3 bucket from multiple locations by connecting through multiple remote gateways. In our example, we have a bucket in US West 2 region that contains NASA images stored as Amazon S3 objects. We have two remote locations that each have a file gateway and an NFS client. Our first location, Seattle, already has a file gateway configured with share access to the bucket. We will take a look at how the Windows client can access all the content within our bucket, just like a local file system. We'll then jump over to our San Francisco location that has a file gateway but not fully configured, and we'll configure a new share pointing to the same bucket. We'll transfer a file from the Linux server to the share, which in turn will transfer that to our S3 bucket. Finally, we'll jump back to our Seattle location and by leveraging the Refresh Cache API, we'll see the file that got created in our San Francisco location. Let's take a look at our S3 bucket. You'll notice it's located in the US West 2, and it's called S3 NASA Images. And within the bucket itself, we have a large number of NASA images in object form. In my Seattle location, I've already configured my file gateway and created the share. In fact, I've already mounted it as a map drive in Windows. You'll notice Windows reports 8 exabytes of storage. This is due to the virtually unlimited nature of S3. The other thing you'll notice is when I open the share, that thumbnail generation is very fast. This is because the reads are all taking place out of the gateway's cache. Now let's head over to our San Francisco location. In the San Francisco location, we've configured the gateway, but we haven't created any shares yet. So we'll step through that now. To create a share, we click the Create File Share button, and then we enter the name of the bucket we want to connect to. We can set up some security, but in this case, I'm going to keep it open, and then we click Create File Share. Once the share is created, we can now mount it on our Linux host. Here you'll see it takes a little bit longer for the thumbnails to be generated because this is the first time the data is being accessed and the cache in the gateway is being populated. So now we'll transfer a file from the Linux server to the share, which in turn will transfer that to our S3 bucket. And as you can see, not only can we access the file as a mounted file share, the data itself now resides in S3. 
Let's go back to our Seattle location and take a look at how we can access this new file from there. In the Seattle location, you'll notice that we can't yet see the file. This is because this gateway is unaware of the change. In order for the second gateway to be aware of the change that's taken place in our San Francisco location, we have to use the Refresh Cache API, or we can refresh through the console. Now that we've issued the Refresh Cache API command, we can go back to our Windows map drive As you can see, by refreshing the cache, the new file we added in our San Francisco location is now available in our Seattle location. From this demo, you can see how we can use Storage Gateway in multiple locations to access content from one or more S3 buckets. We can even share content across locations. Customers in many industries are using AWS Storage Gateway to help their teams access content stored centrally in the AWS cloud. In many cases, the data being stored in Amazon S3 is leveraged further by taking advantage of in-cloud services for analytics and data transformation.